AI is it's going to kill the videographer. OpenAI has unveiled its new text-to-video model, Sora. 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 The tool can also generate very realistic people. Without a major production studio or team of animators. Millions of people, though, could be out of work, right? I want to go through the areas and the statements people have been making about AI and whether I agree with it or not. But I don't want you to be sad because I'm actually going to talk about how I think many artists, filmmakers, and just creatives will survive this. What I do think AI is going to do is it's going to wipe out the job of many lazy filmmakers. And I don't know if I should ever use a swivelly chair for YouTube. You think about the advent of the Industrial Revolution. This is when you started having factories creating clothing and people just thought that those who created garments, tailors, would be wiped out. And sure enough, Many of them were, but there was still a market for handmade. People still desired that an artist, that a personality created their clothing. And I think this is going to be the same of the future for filmmaking and creativity. We as artists will begin to be able to brand our work as human made, as filmmaker created. So let's go through some statements about AI and whether I believe they're actually true. First thing that you've been hearing many people say is AI will kill the stock video market. True. I, I, I do think this is true, but I don't think this is true across the board. There's always going to be libraries like Film Supply and Artlist who have more of a artist-driven cinematic approach. But for the majority of stock video, I think it's going to wipe it out because Stock video isn't inspiring. Stock video is very wide, 60 frames, bland, typical, kind of your run of the mill footage. And this is where I find AI generated video excels most. So I do think that many drone operators are gonna be losing their jobs unless they have a very specific skill set or approach. And when I see these shots of like this lighthouse, I start getting to believe that maybe AI could work in that scenario. I think back to the early part of my career in 2010, 2011, we rented a helicopter. We spent weeks shooting a documentary series of I believe it was called Canada Over the Edge. And this cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was not cheap to shoot. And we got shots that look exactly like this lighthouse. Another statement, AI will further fake news. Yes, I hate to say I do agree with this. I believe that most of the way we consume our media now is very fast. And if you live in a country like Canada, we can't even get news through social media. We have to just look at it through TikTokers and obnoxious people who aren't fact checking. That's an issue you can take up with our government. They've decided to not put news on social media. So I think the prevalence of the way people consume their media now that it is on social media is very, very quick. We do not get our news in a long form way through print anymore. You know this. So yeah, I do think it's gonna further fake news, unfortunately. But you can't forget, and I, I gotta respect the people who made to put these AI sort of videos out. Some of them are terrible. Like, like these pirate ships in the coffee. Wow, absolute trash. I mean, just not only that the depth of field on the actual coffee doesn't match the pirate ships, but the way they're floating and the way that the animation moves about. Yeah, there's a lot to be improved, but based on how quickly AI has been improving from the first videos we saw, I know a lot of this will be corrected. One other caveat I want to mention is you have to recognize these are all very short clips. One thing as a filmmaker is we do long takes things unfold organically. We were just shooting a documentary pilot down in Miami and there's just times as a documentarian, I put my camera down and I wait for life to unfold. Sometimes those shots take three minutes and sometimes they're very interesting, sometimes they're not. But the AI generated video doesn't have that dynamicism where there's turbulence in life, where things happen unexpectedly. This is kind of the magic of documentary. And if you go watch my Cinema Verite video, this is a whole genre and style of filmmaking that I think cannot be replaced by AI. AI will never replace Verite style filmmaking because it goes against the actual essence of letting life unfold. I, you know, I went and experienced some AI and uh, I had went into an app. What was the app called? Loopsy. I'm not sponsored by them. I actually think the app is trash, but <laughs> it's nonsense. All right. You're going to see. I, I, I gave it about 10 of my photos and asked it to create some vintage photos of Mark Bone. 
So here we are, here's the first one, don't mind it. My right bicep looks very strong. No, no reason why specifically that arm is strong. Then <laughs> we go to this and it's, I think someone behind my hand is also giving the finger. Why is it that AI can never ever do hands. This is the worst thing about it. This, yeah, it's looking kind of realistic, pretty cool. Perhaps could be me without glasses back in the day in my Winnebago. Okay, now we're talking. This is starting to feel like me. If you've been around this channel for a little while, I have had some long hair at some points. Some really long hair. It was kind of, it was kind of getting gnarly. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna say it, I look good. I'm a man, but I guess the AI is trying to entice me to experiment. One fascinating thing I actually haven't touched on in regards to artificial intelligence is the direct correlation between the decline in our mental health and the increase in prevalence of AI computing. As beautiful as the algorithm can be in showing you new work from your field, in my case, filmmaking documentary, I just find that I end up feeling smaller about myself and my career as I look at the entire world's accomplishments in documentary. I know it's supposed to inspire me, but at times <laughs> it just leaves me a bit depressed. But I've found working with a therapist has helped me kind of clarify a bit of this and create some actionable steps for me to hit my goals. And this brings me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes starting therapy much less intimidating and a lot easier for many people. Over the last few months, I've been meeting with a BetterHelp professional to more clarify my goals and to have someone to talk through some of those roadblocks that I continually find myself in. They have over 30,000 therapists in their network and you can switch your therapist at any time with just the click of a button. I wish you could just break up with someone like that. <laughs> I guess you can, that's the way the dating apps work, don't they? <laughs> Anyways, you can also just meet with your therapist however you'd like, you can do it over a video Video call, you can do it over the phone, or even chat messaging. Whatever is the most comfortable for you. And using the BetterHelp platform has actually been very easy. Whether it's on my phone or my laptop, I can just go in and book sessions. There's group sessions, or I can just find worksheets that my therapist has sent me to do on my own time. I have a unique link down below that'll get you 10% off your first month of therapy with BetterHelp. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp, including me, and I really have enjoyed it so far. Also, just get out and exercise. That's really, really, really helpful. And just don't eat trash. But therapy is definitely part of my regimen. So you can go to betterhelp.com slash markphone to try that out. And let's go back to AI. Maybe this was an AI video. You'll never know. It's real. I'm real. Because I have normal hands. AI will replace archival footage. Well, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that there are times where we have had to go recreate things in the past. I think of my film 58 Hours for CNN. We wanted to recreate them digging down 50 feet down below earth to save this girl who's stuck in a well. So there's things I did. I went and got these shots of this drill bit. I went and put a camera with one of those probe lens down this tube. So when I saw this actual shot here of the historical gold rush footage, this started to make my filmmaker gears turn in my brain where I began to think, well, yeah, I actually might use that as a filmmaker where I may not want to have to go recreate something from the past, but show a low resolution 16 mil style footage of a past historic place. This really opens up the retelling of past stories. AI will completely reshape Hollywood. Again, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that I think the lower end animation studios are going to start using AI to generate their work more. But no, because I think the higher end ones still have a sense of artistry. They are still in control of the story. I am blown away by the textures of the videos that OpenAI put out with AI Sora. The texture on these puppies, the textures on some of the animations or on those woolly mammoths was incredible. But still the movement, the idea that there's actual soul behind these things still isn't quite there. So yes, I think it will reshape Hollywood perhaps for those grand wide shots of a place that does not exist, of worlds that are not real. But again, if you're making a film about Michael Jordan doing this last dance, you're gonna wanna use the actual footage as much as possible from those real events. You wouldn't wanna say AI generated over top of the NBA finals because then that's just not what actually happened. What I do think AI is going to do is it's going to wipe out the job of many lazy filmmakers. Right now, I think we do have a small crisis in videography where 
our format, our medium is TikTok, is Instagram. And this is where we are chasing virality. We're chasing repeated styles of videos. Now, if you have AI, people who don't have the skill set to create that certain viral video will just be able to ask AI to create it. So now suddenly you have an even greater scale of people creating the same styles of videos. And what happens when we all watch the same things over and over again? Well, we get bored of them. We crave novelty as humans. So I think for those lazy videographers who are just chasing trends, well, you're gonna get wiped out because everyone's gonna be able to create the same thing. But for those who wanna venture down a new path and think for themselves, I believe you will be getting more work. People are going to crave a fresh perspective. This is something we teach often in Art of Documentary, our academy, is the importance of finding your voice as a creative. And this is again where I don't think AI is going to replace the artist. We as consumers love the actual artist as much as we love the art they create. We're so fascinated to know what Andy Warhol would make as much as we are in the actual art he created. We love the personality. That's why this last Super Bowl was the most watched one I think of all time because of certain people. Taylor, how does it feel? AI could not have created my film, ASD Band Film. Not that it couldn't just regenerate images of artists on the spectrum, but because it didn't know Jackson, Ron, or Rowan, or Spencer, and their backgrounds, their stories, their unique pain, which has informed them as musicians, which has helped them band together to create a band, no pun intended. So if you've been coasting as an artist, as a videographer, as a creative, this is a wake-up call. AI will likely take away your job. Just because you have a skill set as a videographer will not make you valuable anymore because people will be able to generate very standard footage. So, am I worried about AI? No. I worry about some people who have been coasting for a while in their video businesses, and perhaps what's great about it is it's gonna help them find something they're actually passionate about. But I don't think it will replace the artist. I actually know that. Just because there's video games out there doesn't mean that I still don't wanna go watch a hockey game. I'm Canadian, and I wanna see humans run into each other. All right, that's enough about ranting about AI. I was glad to get this off my chest. I hate goodbyes, but I do love electrolytes. Oh, great. See you on the next one.